Genesis has released the full mod ear change list for the 23 mod ears. So let's go ahead and take a look at what changed for the Genesis GV70. So just a little bit of background about the Genesis GV70. It was released for the 2022 mod ear. So this is the second mod ear it is in production. So there shouldn't be a lot of changes, right? Well, actually Genesis made quite a few changes on this vehicle. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what changed. So starting out on the exterior of the GV70, the sport models now get rear brake calipers that are now painted black to match the front. So I guess before they must have been a silver or a different color outside of black like the front calipers. So now it looks like all four calipers will be painted black, which to me is nice to have the consistency around the entire vehicle. And moving on to the interior, the sport models once again get steering wheel buttons that were changed from boundless touch type to mechanical buttons. And I don't know about you guys, but if you have seen some of my videos in regards to the Hyundai products and their touch buttons, I'm not a huge fan of touch buttons. So to me, that the fact that Genesis actually changed it from a touch type button to a mechanical button just over one mod year, to me, that means they're either listening to feedback or, uh, you know, I don't know what else, but to me, that seems like a feedback from owners that they prefer mechanical buttons. And in addition, they have changed the SOS button to red, which I'm not sure what it was before. I'm assuming it was some sort of black button, uh, but now the SOS button is red, which if you guys are aware of another brand, I, I believe BMW makes their SOS or emergency buttons red as well. So moving on to some packaging changes, the 2.5T all wheel drive trim gets some new additions on the select trim level. It gets monoblock front brakes and heated steering wheel. On the advanced trim level, it gets the Lexicon premium audio system. And on the Sport Prestige trim level, it gets the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and three zone automatic climate control. So as you can see, not many packaging changes and all the ones they did make were to the four cylinder variant. Uh, but once again, this is a second mod year vehicle. I think everything they did change is a worthy upgrade for sure. And moving on to exterior colors, they're actually removing a few and replacing them with new ones. So the first one is they're dropping Adriatic Blue in October of 2022, that's when production will end. And they are replacing it by Capri Blue in November of 2022. So I'll be interested to see how that uh, looks in terms of that color, because I don't think there's any pictures or anything out there of Capri Blue just yet. Next up, they are dropping Himalayan Gray in February of 2023 and replacing it by Makalu Gray in March of 23. And lastly, they are dropping Melbourne Gray Matte and replacing it by Makalu Gray Matte. That's interesting to see that you can get this one variation in both a non-matte and a matte paint color. But again, I'm surprised that Genesis offers matte paint in general on uh, a lot of their vehicles. I think it's a way to stand out and differentiate itself but I'm still not sold on the longevity in everyday usage. So interesting to see all those changes in terms of the colors, and I'm definitely most interested to see the Capri Blue. So now you might be wondering about pricing for the GV70. So the base 2.5T standard trim went up $1,950, so that makes the base pricing $43,995, including destination. The 2.5T select trim level went down $250, so that is now a $3,750 option. The 2.5T advanced trim level went up $500, so that is now an $8,650 option over the base pricing. And the 2.5T sport prestige trim level went up $1,050, and that is now a $12,800 option over the base 2.5T trim. Now moving on to the 3.5T standard trim, it went up $1,950 for a starting MSRP of $56,095, again, including destination. The 3.5T Sport Advanced went down $50, and that is now a $4,950 option over the base 3.5T trim. And the Sport Prestige trim stayed the same at $9,900 option, again, over that base 3.5T trim. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up all the changes for the 23 Genesis GV70. If you guys found this video helpful or just enjoyed watching, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos and the channel. Now, if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of the content that is currently available. I have a ton of 2023 mod year change videos across other makes and models. I have automotive related how-to content as well as side-by-side -side review comparison videos. So make sure to check those out if you guys are interested in those. And let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the changes to the GV70. And if you guys happen to own a GV70, let me know your feedback down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. I do not have any experience with the GV70 hands-on, anything like that. It is definitely one of the models that I would like to take a look at because I think it's the honestly probably the best one in the lineup as an all-around vehicle. It's not a huge SUV still has the performance you know, of the 3.5T Sport trims. Overall, I think it's definitely 
uh, one of the big successes in the lineup in terms of just the overall vehicle it is. So with all that being said, let me know down in the comment section below once again, and I hope to see you in the next video.